I've been doing a number of videos on flywheel based modifications that I've done. So I thought I wanted to, to switch it up a little bit and uh, highlight a, another uh, mod that I had done recently. Now, before I get going in this, I do need to give credit where credit's due. This mod was originally done by Rob at the South Brisbane Nerf Club. And I got the idea from him. I've made a few changes uh, to the way things go, but essentially this is this is the same type of mod, the same mod that he did. And this is a mega cyclone shock with a doubled cylinder and the front uh, attached together. So I took two cyclone shocks, um, cut the front off one, cut the back off the other, put them together, and then doubled the cylinders up here. Um, and the reason for the doubled cylinders is so that I could put a six inch brass barrel down each of the six tubes. And then the rationale for the brass is you've got a big plunger tube, you've got a big spring behind the whole thing, it can build up air pressure. And if you have that long brass tube in there, this is, it's a 9 16 inch brass, then the air pressure can build behind it and it will accelerate the dart through the entire length of the brass. Uh, if you have just a, a two inch piece of brass with the darts fitting, you get two inches of acceleration. If you go to six, with a big air plunger, uh, big air volume and an air plunger behind it, then you can accelerate the dart through the whole distance. And you see an, you see a significant increase in uh, FBS by, by doing that. Um, so to load this, the problem then when you have six inches of brass is how do you load the thing? So cut out a window, and this is again the same from, from Rob's, and then that window allows you access to the back of the turret. And you can slide your darts in, then you can rotate the barrel through. And you can see the very back of the brass. Now, I mounted the brass. I ended up using the uh, Elite darts, or the Mega darts, I'm sorry, that uh, came with the blaster. And I cut them in half, and I wrapped them around uh, the brass tubing, slid them on nice tight fit, glued them on, and then glued them to the inside of the barrel to hold that brass nice and, and, and tight in there. Um, for the paint job on this one, uh, I decided I was going to use the same color scheme that I did on my Hailstorm battle rifle uh, with that, uh, that gold covered with a crystal clear enamel and kind of a black accent. But I didn't paint the handle cover. I just clear coated that to try to get, to get that, that feel. And I tried some different things with some weathering and some um, of my uh, um, uh, air drying modeling clay. Uh, to try to work through and get some things. And I got some mixed results on this. So cosmetically, there's some things I need to do uh, differently. I'd actually started this build uh, six, nine months ago, probably. And I put the blaster together, got it in a functional form, and then I set it down and then picked it up very recently, about a month ago, and decided the, of the uh, paint job that I wanted to put on it. And it kind of finished it out and, and did all the details and smoothed everything, everything down. So again, the paint job... I mixed. I like the color scheme. I tried some things with weathering that kind of worked, kind of didn't. If you look at the other side, um, you can you can kind of see a little bit better where I tried uh, you know sanding down the paint to try to get get some of the black to come through on the Nerf and on the Mega, and it worked okay. But I wasn't as happy with the results as I have been with some of, some of the other things. All right, so I want to break here, uh, jump to a. Uh, a chrono test. Um, I've, I've shot a few darts through it uh, from a chrono, uh, and then we'll come back uh, in, a, in a sec. So you can see from the chrono reading that it's shooting very, very well. Uh, average 161 feet per second with a top shot of uh, 168. Now, now one thing I forgot to mention in the previous segment was the spring that I use. I actually got a spring from uh, Century Springs. Uh, the model number was 10,060, 10060. And uh, that spring is about a 10 kilogram spring in there. So I replaced the stock spring that comes in the Cyclone Shock with that Century Springs uh, 10,060 spring. 
Uh, and, and that's where a lot of the, the real power behind uh, the mod comes from. Anyways, what do you think of this mod? Is this something that, that appeals to you? Uh, leave your comments in the description below.